Hey guys, Kim here. So it is Saturday morning. It is 7 o'clock, which might seem early for some people, but Jim and I are pretty excited because that is sleeping in for us now. So little Miss Annabelle let us sleep all the way until 7. Annabelle, she has the hiccups. Yeah, she slept from 9 till 7, so we are definitely not complaining. That is sleeping in for us now. So I am just going to go to the gym. I'm just going to go to Anytime Fitness and just do some cardio, catch up on some YouTube videos, maybe do a teeny tiny bit of lifting. I just don't enjoy lifting at all. I'm sorry. I love cardio. So before I leave, Jim is requesting that I bring him breakfast. <laughs> Nothing too fancy, but I now work at Starbucks, which is super exciting, and I get to bring home goodies every day so sometimes I bring something home for Jim so today is a blueberry scone yes and I mentioned before we're gonna taste everything so I had a salted caramel cake pop yesterday while I was at work it was so good oh, you told me to microwave it just take a little a little bite I usually get a fork with it. oh you usually get a fork is it delicious it's all right. It's a little dry. It's good. Yeah, I don't really like scones because they're always kind of dry. So I'm going to pass on that. They also have a cranberry orange one, but mm -hmm. it really didn't look that great. Cake pops, very good. All right, going to the gym. Bye. So real quick, I just have to mention these oven mitts because believe it or not, I have never owned a pair of oven mitts until now. I just always used like the dish rag as oven mitts. And the other day it was hanging down as I was trying to grab my cookies out of the oven and it caught on fire and it was awful. So I just got these silicone oven mitts. They are fabulous. They work well, obviously. The inside liner like pulls out and you can clean it. They're comfy, they're cute, they come in all different colors, and I don't know why I never used oven mitts before, but I'm going to use these now instead of the dish towel. Anywho, moving on. So I got the cookie dough balls, I don't know what you want to call them, bites, truffles, I don't know, out of the oven, let them cool, and then I have a bowl of just this wild chocolate, and we're just going to use that like to dust them and make them look prettier. You could definitely just eat them like this, but I think they look prettier like this. So that is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to eat them all. So real quick, I just want to show you, I am doing a holiday gift guide type blog post. So there's like for the fitness lover, the food lover, the runner, baker, I don't really know what all the categories are going to be yet, but you get the idea. And I think this would be a super cute gift idea for a baker friend or family member. So here's the oven mitts, which are only $22 on Amazon. And it comes with a little brush as well. They're really nice. They're lined nicely. They're easy to clean. And, you know, they're oven mitts and they work. So there's that. And then you can throw in some little baking cups. I love using these. Throw in some holiday M&Ms for baking or just for snacking, some cute little spatulas, and then an adorable apron to tie it all together. I just spent almost the past hour trying to get the perfect Instagram shot of this watch and cupcake. And I know that sounds kind of goofy, but I got sent this beautiful watch from Daniel Wellington. And I like that it's kind of sporty, kind of casual. They had fancier bands, but I like the pink and blue. And they also sent me a blue and white one that I can swap out. But I noticed on their Instagram page, they had a lot of foodie type posts. 
So I went to Oakmont Bakery just to get this gorgeous cupcake just so I can take a picture of the watch with the cupcake. And I think it turned out pretty good. It's kind of gloomy outside. So my lighting is not good at all. But I think I got one that will be Instagram worthy. And I am definitely not going to let this cupcake go to waste. So I forget what this is called. I think it's called Red Carpet. And I've had it before. This is like a white chocolate hard shell and then whipped cream. And it's like a red velvet cupcake. I think it has filling inside too. And there's like sparkles on it. So I am definitely going to enjoy that later tonight. I'm going to save it. So I just got a package in the mail from a subscriber and her name is Judy. She wrote me a super sweet card, which I'm not going to go ahead and read right now, but thank you so much. And I am going to unbox, oh my goodness, these goodies right now. First of all, there is salted caramel peanut butter. You guys know my love for anything salted caramel flavored. This sounds delicious. I'm just gonna smell it right now. I can eat it right now. I'm just gonna smell it right now. I didn't even know Skippy made salted caramel. Please excuse my appearance. I have not showered yet, but that's okay. Mm, it smells delicious. Maybe just a little taste. It's not super, super salted caramely, but it's super, super creamy and it's super, super good. <laughs> and I will not let this go to waste. Next is ooh, pumpkin spice morsels. These are gonna be perfect for baking. Let's go ahead and try one. So they are orange in color, which is always super fun. Those are actually really good. Those are gonna be really good in trail mix. What else? Oh, these look amazing. Giardelli, I don't know if that's how you say it. Chocolate, which is so good. And there is mocha, pumpkin spice, caramel, and milk and caramel. This is the fall assortment. Those sound so good. I have never seen those before. Salted caramel oatmeal. Where do you even find such a thing? Oh my goodness. Where is this from? I don't know, but I can't wait to try that. What we got next? Reese's Snack Mix. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Minis. Reese's Pieces Candy. Roasted Salted Peanuts and Mini Pretzels. That is like everything I love in one snack. I cannot wait to eat that. I think I'm going to eat that today. And last but not least. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. I'm just gonna have to open it up. Some kind of bulk candy. I have no idea what these are. They're very chocolatey. I don't know, let's see. Oh my goodness. It is a chocolate covered, is it? It is a chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzels. Oh my goodness, this person knows me too well. Thank you so much. I am not gonna share any of this with Jim. That is just so sweet. All right, so this is officially our tasting spot because we have a nice little table, decent-ish lighting, and we're gonna taste some stuff. So first of all, I decided I am gonna share one of these goodies with Jim because I eat three of them. They are so, so good. I'm balking. I'm balking. Are you telling me what they are? No. You get two guesses. That's what it looks like. Two guesses, and then you just have to eat it. Chocolate covered nut. I get a big nut. Okay, what's your second guess? Oh. I don't get to taste it before I guess? Well, no, you know, <laughs> not, you'll know what it is. Oh, oh, that wasn't really one of my guesses. It is... Maybe chocolate covered kind of candies. Okay. I have no idea. Just eat it. What? Watch the water. Isn't it delicious? Mm -hmm. What is it? Tell them. It is a chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel. Yeah. 
At first when I bit into it, I thought it was just chocolate covered pretzel, and then I bit into it further and realized it was... Mm. Are these delicious? Like, I don't know where Judy got here? these, but... Nice job, Judy. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. That's all you get, though. The rest are mine. Unless Judy wants to send us 10 more pounds. <laughs> Anywho. Can we do the peeps first, or the jelly beans? Let's do peeps. I decide. Peeps. These are gingerbread peeps. They're not like the fancy little peeps that had like the chocolate on the bottom, but they're 40 calories a piece. Good to know. Tasty care. Could win a trip to New York City. Okay. They're all kind of gingerbread -y. Not like overwhelmingly. They're super cute. You want to share one? Yeah. Okay, can I have his head? Sure. I believe his shoulders. His butt. Yeah. It's not real gingerbread at all. A little teeny tiny bit. Teeny tiny bit. A little disappointing. Eat one of his legs. Don't we no, care? I don't really like him. Eat one of his legs. He's not worth it. He's, I'm not expecting to be that great, but they just sound fun. So once again, eggnog, candy cane, pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, hot chocolate. We're gonna have to like, dig through and find them. So, which one first? Let's just grab it. Well, I don't know what I'm eating now. Oh well, yeah. What so are we doing? chocolate. You sure that's hot chocolate? It's the only dark. dark no, one. look. Make sure it's not yeah, that's, cranberry. That's cranberry sauce. That's okay. hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Mmm. It gets kind of weird. Doesn't taste like anything. It's a little bit chocolatey. Okay. A little bit. It's not very good. Alright. It's fine cranberry. Yeah. Cranberry? Yeah. Ooh. It is like cranberry sauce. I like that one. It's even like that little bit of sourness like cranberry mm -hmm. sauce has. Tartness, I mm -hmm. think is the word you're looking for. Tartness. It's pretty good. Mm, you can too fast. Not ready yet. Pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin? Pumpkin. 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 <laughs> it tastes a little pumpkin-y, but yeah. I don't really like it. <laughs> Just like pumpkin pie. It's okay. Let's do candy cane last. That's going to be like minty. Agreed. So let's do eggnog. Mm, I don't like eggnog. I don't like jelly beans that have specks in them. You like the pear and the butter popcorn? Butter popcorn is delicious. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not very good. It has like a spice. Mm. Once again, I wasn't. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting these to taste good. It's one of those things like when you see it, you have to buy it. All right. Mm. Candy cane is yeah, probably gonna be the best one. I mean, how do you mess up candy cane? I mean, it's just minty. Be quiet. A little chewy mint. Back so, they're, yeah, the candy cane ones are the best. The other ones are not very good at all. So, the peeps suck. The jelly beans suck. These do not suck. No. <laughs> <laughs> Same time, ready? Right? One, two, three. So we went to Sam's and we spent $275 on diapers, wipes, and formula. WTF Annabelle. Seriously expensive, <laughs> but that's okay. It was a lot of stuff. So then we went to the craft show and they had like the raffle baskets and we won slash I won. And it's pretty exciting, actually. So we got this really, really soft blanket. We got this fun little decorative snowman guy. We got a bunch of these little things that you like melt in those melty things, but we don't have one of those melty things. We just have the things to melt. So now we have to buy one of the melty things. Anyways, and the best part is this 
fancy pants mug. So we're gonna go to Panera now and feed Annabelle and I'm gonna get coffee in this fancy pants mug. And we also bought, where'd it go? We bought this adorable little hat for Annabelle and it has little bells on it and it jingle jangles and it's gonna be her Christmas hat. So we're gonna go to Panera, sit there for a little bit, feed Annabelle, and then I think we're gonna go somewhere for those adult beverages I was talking about. We're at North Park Lounge. We got my favorite apple teeny. Jim got boring beer because it was on a special. And we're just going to enjoy each other's company, enjoy some good food, and enjoy Annabelle. And that's gonna be the end of the vlog. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> And we'll see you next time. And um, it was great to meet her and shop around.